Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode I wanted to do something kind of fun and unique with a black and white conversion filter. I'm not using it for black and white but there is a really cool feature inside of it that I want to show you. We're going to have some fun with it. We're going to take uh, several images and I'm going to show you some different possibilities. Uh, uses of the black and white conversion filter for color images. I think this is going to be fun. I think you're going to learn a lot. So let's get started. Starting out with this image here, this is a stock image and I have three different examples that we're going to work on. They're all stock images and I like this image right here, but I'm not real happy with the colors in it. So I thought we can improve it. First thing we want to do is I always like to start out with AI Enhance and let's just even this out a little bit with the AI Enhance, even the tones out a little bit. And let's go to uh, AI structure, and I've already played with this, but let's say we're starting out at zero. I'm going to pull this structure. I'm actually going to pull it the whole way up here. It's not hurting this image a bit. Maybe not quite the whole way, right there. All right, next step is to come up here to layers, and let's click the plus here and create a new stamp layer we're going to use this later but for now we're going to shut it off and you'll see where i'm going with this so let's shut this off let's come back to the original layer right here i'm going to start out by clicking on the essentials tab right here and coming to black and white conversion now inside the black and white conversion you can click convert to black and white and it'll make a black and white conversion i'm not going to use that today we're going to use this feature called saturation so we're going to click this and you'll notice we have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta here. And so what I'm going to do is start out with moving the cyan to the right. And all the image turns black and white, and it's only finding cyan. This is really cool. So we're going to find the cyan colors of the image and just adjust it to where we think it looks pretty good. Somewhere right around in there. Then we're going to come to blue here, and I'm going to pull up my blue. And just pull out the, the body of the uh, peacock here getting it to look pretty natural right around there and looking at my notes here because I've done this oh and then I used red so these are the three colors I used okay so right now we're just going to pull up the red a little bit here to where it looks pretty good now let's click this eyeball to see here's the before and here's the after and already it's looking really cool but I want to bring this part of the bird out here the I don't the feathers back behind the bird here and that's what I made the stamp adjustment layer for at the beginning okay so the next step is to come back up here to layers and we're going to go to the stamp layer then we're going to turn it on and now we're back to the original image and what we're going to do is go to edit mask get a brush and then what we want to do is come over to the mask and uh, let's see let's invert the mask and now we want to paint in the feathers right here. And I'm just using the left and right bracket key to adjust this larger or smaller of the brush here. And my opacity is at 100% and softness is at 100%. This is where I like to keep it. And now let's just paint this in here. And I can make my brush a little smaller as I get down into this area right in here. And that'll be good for this over here as well. So I can paint that in too. So that's looking pretty cool, right? So here's the original and here's the after. And I personally think that looks a lot nicer. Now let's go ahead and click done and let's come up to the layers here and click on plus and add new adjustment layer. And the reason we need to do that because we use the uh, layer mask on the previous uh, stamp layer. Okay, so we're, or we could have just added the next adjustment there. But I just want to do one more final little thing to it. So we're on a new adjustment layer. Let's come back to the Essentials tab and let's click on Color. Okay, if it's not open, click it to open it up. And let's just see what happens if we take the vibrance up. Okay, maybe just, just a little bit. Just add a little bit more vibrance to the image. And then we could come to the advanced settings here, and I'm just thinking maybe I'll pull this uh, luminance level down on the blue. So let's just click on blues and take our luminance and maybe just pull that down. It just enriches that a little bit. And it also helps some of these colors up in the, other, in the feathers here as well. So maybe something like that. So let's look at our original. So here's our original. Let's click this eyeball. So here's our before and after. And I think it's a really cool improvement. So that's a really creative way of working with a black and white conversion filter. Let's go on to our next example. 
This is a cool image of a fish here. I like it, um, but I think we can approve upon it a bit. So let's go, uh, we're in the Essentials tab, so let's come up here to AI Enhance. I always love to play with this. Yeah, evens this picture out a little bit, makes the side a little bit lighter here, which is nice. Let's go to AI Structure, because I think this could use an AI Structure bump. Don't want to go too crazy with it, but I like a little bit of extra structure in there, and that looks pretty good. Now, let's go to the black and white conversion. So let's click this, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to work with the saturation. So, I like the uh, orange and reds in here, so let's play. Let's see what uh, colors that's going to work best with. So let's pull the red up first. Let's pull the red up a good bit here, and I'm liking what that's doing. Let's pull up yellow and see what happens here. There's a little bit of yellow down in here. I don't know if it's really helping much. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that yellow in there. And let's look at, let's try cyan. Maybe a little cyan in there. Looks pretty cool. And how about some blue? Yeah, some little bit of blue in here. Something like that. So let's look at the original. There's the original. Kind of dull, kind of... Um, kind of faded out looking but now look we have some nice contrast we have some nice bold colors here and then what would happen if we would come to let's go to color itself what would happen if i would pull my vibrance up now yeah a little bit of vibrance in there and so we've taken the image from here to here with a black and white conversion filter pretty cool stuff right i hope you're enjoying this i'm this is exciting to me on to the next example this is a cool image. Let's have some fun with it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, well, let's always go to our AI Enhance and let's just see if that helps. Yeah, I do like that. Look, look at that. Look how those colors really start to pop. So that's looking really cool and it's bringing some structure out here in the eyes. Let's give it a little AI structure because of all that paint or whatever that is. We can bring up some of the grittiness of that. Let's, again, let's have some fun here. Now let's go to our black and white conversion and let's go to saturation. Now I want to play with some selective colors here. So I thought red might be nice just to bring up the red on the face. Mixing it with the black and white. Now let's get the yellow and pull up the yellow. Decent amount here. I don't like these colors that are popping over here, but you'll see how I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to use another technique for that. And then let's get some blue. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if the eye would come out nice and blue, this eye here, here, and some of this color on here, but maybe mute this back a little bit. And I'll show you how we're going to tackle that. So right there, I think we're looking really cool. So let's come up here to layers. Let's add a layer. Add a new adjustment layer. And let's come back to the Essentials tab, let's get a black and white conversion filter. This time we're going to convert it to black and white. And let's let's do our typical black and white conversion where we play with these sliders here. Getting the black and white image to look really nice. Something like that. Let's, see, let's play with the green. Not a whole lot happening in the green. I'm just going to leave that right in the center. Let's try cyan here. Maybe something like that. Now let's try the blue. Don't want to go too crazy with the blue. Maybe right around there looks good. And the magenta. I want to darken up that magenta. Just to pop a little bit of contrast right in this area right here. Okay. So the next step is to go to Edit Mask. Brush. And now we're going to go to Erase. Now I'm going to start out with my opacity at 100%. My softness at 100%. I usually like to work with 100%. And I'm just going to paint the color back in. Because remember there was like some color over here I didn't like. I just won't paint that color in. I want this yellow. And all this red. I am using a Wacom tablet and pen here. It just makes it a little bit easier for doing this kind of stuff. But you can do it with a mouse as well. And if you paint an area that you don't like, you can just... Uh, Paint the black and white back in at that point. Maybe something like that. And let's settle on that. Now let's paint this blue eye back in right here. 
And let's get this eye over here. Now let's take our opacity and pull it back a good bit. Maybe to about 14%. And let's try that. Let's paint some of this color in here just a little bit. Just to add some interest in here. Just up in here. And if that wasn't enough, we can paint it another time. Let's paint over here. Because we're painting it... Uh, We'll be painting it 14%. Every time we paint over it again, we're adding another 14%. And I think that looks pretty cool. So let's click the eyeball. So here's the before and here's the after. So just kind of fun. Just wanted to show you guys some new and creative techniques that you can use uh, with using Luminar 4. It's a super piece of software. I, I know you all agree on that. Most everybody agrees on that. But the black and white uh, conversion tool is awesome. And give this a try and uh, let me know what you think of it. After layer masking, let's not forget to uh, click done. You really don't have to because you click on another filter, it'll automatically close. Uh, let's uh, go to full screen. So if you type the F key, you'll go to full screen here. So that's a pretty cool image. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on using the black and white conversion for creative color processing. I think it really is a great tool for that. So if you enjoyed this video today, please like and share it with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and click that uh, subscribe icon and also click on the bell notification icon this way. Every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified about it. Well, please also leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thanks for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, remember this. Happy editing.